This video is a follow-up to a question I had on installing C and C++ compiler for Windows 7, 8.1, and 10. I am doing a fresh install of Windows 10 and will do a fresh install of the Cygwin uh, installation. So go ahead, just like the other video, type in, I'm going to use DuckDuckGo right now, so we have no ads on the right. Uh, netbeans.org forward slash community forward slash release forward slash 60 forward slash cpp dash setup dash instructions dot html you can do that or just put it directly in the URL first link installing that's where we want to go installing and configuring C and C++ support go ahead scroll on down past downloads and find installing and setting up the compilers and tools. Just like the other video, next what we're going to do is we're going to open up a new tab and go to cygwin.com forward slash install. Here it is on DuckDuckGo. First link, that's where we want to be. Next, go ahead and download the correct version based on your operating system. You can find that going into the systems. I'm going to right click and say system and then it lets me know that I have a 64-bit if your sys32 download the 32 okay I'm gonna close this out minimize my window I'm gonna go to my downloads folder or wherever you downloaded your file to. I'm going to run through the setup. Install from internet. That's fine by me. I'm going to leave everything at the default. I'm going to choose the first mirror to download. Doesn't matter which one you choose. Excellent. Let's jump back to the web. Okay, let's add the first package. So, go ahead and copy GCC Core. Come back to your Cygwin install. I'm going to paste it in. Change it from default to install. Next, type in C++. Locate Devel click on it install next type GDB then click where it says category and click on full then find under package GDB GNU debugger and change from skip to install. For this example, I'm going to set it to 7.9, so you have to click it a couple times. So we have 7.9. Next, type the word make. Scroll on down to make. There it is, 449, the make, the GNU version, make utility. Okay, click next. Next. Wait for it to install. I'm going to pause the video at the moment because I don't want to record all of this. Okay, so the installation's gone ahead and finished. Yeah, go ahead and create a shortcut on my desktop. I'm going to minimize this real quick. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to set our global environment variables. This is the key thing. I'm going to point this out and go through this kind of slowly or to a point. This was the question I have. To get there, you can get there multiple ways, but I'm going to right click on this Windows icon down here in the bottom left. That's our start button. I'm going to scroll up to where it says system. Now, if you don't want to go that way, you can go to the control panel, then system and security, and then system. 
Next, on the left here, we have Control Panel Home, Device Manager, Remote Settings, System Protection, and Advanced System Settings. This is what we want, Advanced System Settings. Now, down at the bottom of the Advanced tab, scroll down, or if you have to, click on Environmental or Environment Variables. It opens up another new window. Now, not in the first window, but the second window where it says System Variables. Scroll down until you see the word Path. Click on Edit. Next, open a new window. I know, you can do it different ways. Go to your C directory. Go to Cygwin, whatever, if you have 32-bit or 64. Open that up. Open up the bin directory. Now, in the URL, which is the path directory, click after the word bin. It will highlight it. Right-click and copy. Now, come back to our system environment variables at the end of this. Take your mouse and scroll to the end. Then add a semicolon. Then go ahead and paste in the new path that we just copied. Add another semicolon. Click OK. 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 And close that out. OK. Now we're going to move our install file and our directory that down created or that was created in the downloads directory. Here's our Cygwin bin directory. Here's the main directory. Come back in here. You can either cut or drag. It's up to you. I guess I'll just drag it and move it. And same thing with this funny little directory they created. Okay, now let's test to see if we actually have it installed. So I'm going to close out my windows. Yes, I could go to the Cygwin terminal, but instead I'm going to go to the command prompt. Again, I can do this multiple ways. Let's click on start and type in CMD. Now, back on our web, go ahead and scroll on down. And let's do the first check. So go ahead, copy, check one. Click copy, that's under to check versions of Cyclin and tools. Give me a sec, my command prompt is acting funny. Okay, if you right click after copying, it should auto paste. Cygwin's installed, let's go through the rest. No issues there. That looks good. Excellent. Great. Looks like everything's running.